What's going on? It's Max from Firehouse Bees. Alright, today the episode I have for you is bees that were removed from a tree. You got a guy in uh, Fort Pierce, and I'm stepping on dog toys over here. Guy in Fort Pierce had screech owls in his yard, so he built them a screech owl box. Took the time to make it real nice, put a lot of shavings in there, did his best to attract owls, except the only problem was he got some bees. So what I did is I went, I took it down, I transferred them to a 10 frame box. They almost filled it out, which was really surprising. There are way more bees in there than I thought they were going to be. So um, I hope you enjoy the video of the rescuing of these bees. They're safely located in my backyard. You'll see that after the video is over. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Every removal I do and every time I go into my hives, I'm recording it and I'm vlogging it. So um, I hope you enjoy. Funny. Didn't build it for these guys. They might when I take the front off, so you may just want to be ready. That's packed. All right. Brand new hive. I'll tip it up so you can see it. Start transferring this to the other box. I'm trying to find the queen so I don't have to get the vacuum. Now this is going to be the tricky part because I got the shavings in there. Try not to get that in the box. So I'm just going to try to reduce some of the numbers here. There's the queen. Come on. Oh. Can 
can I find her again? That's the question. I know she's in here, but I'd feel better if I caged her up. She's got to be on one of these two frames. If I catch her, then it makes this whole job even easier. There she is. Come on, queen. Okay. Yep, I'll show you. She is just way bigger than the other ones. See how she can't get out of the cage? No. Right, right there, right there. Oh, hell yeah. Wow, I see why you are done by that. So now, I'm gonna rubber band her up in here so she can't get out. And um, I'll put these boxes next to each other. They'll, they'll all go together. They'll go where she's at. If I leave this on top for just a second, you'll see they'll start crowding on it. She's, she lays their eggs. She's, the, the, just like when they sting it's the pheromones, it's her smell. They're going to her smell. Queen's in the box. That's good. Life is easier. bees are safe back in my house. What I'm going to be doing is releasing the queen. Um, she's in a cage. I'm going to put this queen excluder on the bottom of the box here to prevent her from leaving once I release her. So what you're going to see me do, I've done it in previous videos, is 
lift the box up, place this queen excluder at the bottom, because when you work that hard to get bees and bring them back to your house, you don't want to lose them um, to absconding, which has happened to me a few times before. So, First things first. Place the queen excluder on so the queen cannot leave. Box back on. Here's the queen we caged up. Sorry, bees. as I've done in previous videos now that I've got the queen excluder on I don't have to worry about her absconding taking the bees with her I'm going to direct release her into this hive so she can start laying eggs let me get eyes on her first All right, I see her. Yep, watch her walk down. So she's in. Lid goes back on. And now they've been safely transported to my house. She can't leave. I'm going to leave this excluder on for at least a week. When she starts laying, you know, it really increases her chances of her staying. So. Um, I would recommend doing that if you're doing removals. Swarms don't have a tendency to kind of take off once you get them home, but I've had quite a few removals leave on me, so I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.